Hi folks, in this episode we're going to talk about outcomes. So for any given coalitional uh, game, G, uh, an outcome is a pair. Uh, well, this uh, is sort of a C, <laughs> but I just wanted to distinguish it from the capital C, so uh, I don't know, I just put some uh, weird things here, so it's kind of a weird C. So C comma X, all right? Well, what are they? What are they? Well, C, this uh, capital C, is actually collection of coalitions, all right? We call it coalition structure. Uh, so C1, C2, up to CK. So it's basically a partition of set of players. Well, what does it mean, a partition? Well, it says the following. So whenever you take the union of all those coalitions, well, nobody should left behind, okay? So, uh, I mean, their union must be equal to the set of players. However, uh, not however, I'm sorry, uh, a, a player cannot be a member of two um, coalition, all right? You have to be a member of one and only one coalition. So you can be all alone, all right? But you cannot be a member of two different coalitions. This is not allowed, all right? So this will never be an outcome. So that's important. Um, well, so CI intersection CJ is empty for any I and J. Well, the second, this is what C is. Well, what about this X? What is this X? Well, X is a vector. Uh, of n tuple, all right? It basically tells us the payoff each player is going to get, um, all right? So x1 is how much player one is gonna get, x2 how much player two is gonna get, and, and so on, all right? Uh, and it also satisfies the following two very important properties. Well, first off, xi, so for every individual, for every player, xi should be greater than or equal to v of i. What does that mean? That means the payoff player i is going to get at the end of this game should be no less than his worth of getting or being alone, all right? Well, why is that so? Well, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because if Think of the ice cream example and how do we split it? So let's say player A gets everything, all the ice cream, B and C gets nothing. Well, then uh, probably he's going to say, well, you know what? Um, I am already not getting anything. So, uh, well, that's, a not, that's not a good example. So um, think of another example, I'm sorry, where V of I is non-zero, okay? So if V of I is non-zero, uh, well, then you cannot force this guy get less than that because he can just break the whatever coalition he is in here and just be alone. And by being alone, he can make more than Xi. All right. So that's the idea. Uh, the, the Xi's must be individually rational. All right. The second thing is what's called feasibility. Well, for every coalition C, all right, for every coalition C in this set, uh, when I add all the players' uh, sort of payoffs, well, the sum must be exactly equal to the worth of this coalition C. So think it this way. If player A and B are forming a coalition and buying some ice cream and distributing it among themselves, uh, that, you know, agent A and agent B, uh, the the total amount of ice cream agent A and agent B uh, are getting cannot exceed the, 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 the value of the coalition AB, which is 750 grams. And it shouldn't be less than because uh, we, well, that's kind of an assumption. Remember, the more ice cream is always better. So it's like, why are you wasting uh, this ice cream. All right, so therefore the summation of xi must be exactly equal to the, the worth of the coalition. So we, we call this feasibility, and this has to be true for any coalition. Okay, so if uh, the coalition structure and the payoff vector, the coalition structure and the payoff vector satisfy those properties, well, then we call this as an outcome of a coalitional game G. Right? So once again, if we consider the ice cream example, um, so 
here one outcome a and b uh, form a coalition remember they can buy the medium-sized ice cream and so their worth is i mean v of a b is equal to 750 and the way they split it as follows so agent a gets 400 agent b gets 350 so this is xa this is xb this is xc so i don't use one two three in this example again let's be flexible uh, but the xa plus xb is exactly equal to 750 and c forms a coalition alone uh, meaning he doesn't join or ab does not include c um, and so remember in this case v of uh, uh, c was zero and this is exactly what he gets and so, so all of those are individually rational because being alone was zero and so everybody's getting i mean both agent a and b are getting strictly higher payoff agency is getting exactly uh his payoff of being alone okay but this is one possible outcome of the ice cream game what about this one well this is another outcome of the ice cream game this time the grand coalition is formed meaning a b and c they all pulled their resources and so they bought remember v of uh, a b c meaning when they get together all of them they can buy uh, the largest uh, ice cream uh, so it's 1000 and how do they split it 500 300 200 okay that's the way they split it fine all of them are greater than uh, zero so they are individually rational and it's feasible because when we add these numbers up they add up to 1000 okay what else um, this one well here the coalitional structure the c set is just a b c itself all right here the coalitional structure there are only two coalitions a b so this is let's call it c1 and c itself so that's c2 okay here this is however not an outcome all right not an outcome of the coalitional uh, ice cream game that we described earlier why well because it says a and b get together and form a coalition all right and c uh, forms a coalition alone so it's very much like this one but if you remember uh, the v the the worth of uh, coalition a b was 750 so here however x a plus x b is 800 so this coalition can only buy 750 grams of ice cream, but it, the, the sort of, I mean, they split it by 500, 300 ice cream. That's, that's not possible. Um, and, uh, the, you know, they give agent C some 200 grams of ice cream. Again, that's not possible. It's not feasible. All right. You, so for that reason, this is not an outcome of the ice cream uh, game that we described. Okay. I hope that was clear.